What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create slab opening. Okay, so from our previous video, we created our floor slab, right? So this time we're going to create an opening. So we will be creating our opening here on our stair part model. So we're going to create the opening here. So we're going to create one opening here and then we're going to copy that to here and to this one here okay so i'm gonna click here tile view so i can see the floor plan and also the 3d view okay so let's get this thing started so from the structure tab look for the opening panel so you can see here several options so you have by face shaft opening which is what we are going to use and then we also have here wall opening vertical opening and dormer opening so we will be using here shaft opening so it creates a vertical opening that spans multiple levels cutting through intervening groups floors and ceilings okay so you typically sketch the shaft on a host element such as floor which is this one okay so let's do this so i'm going to select shaft opening so let's click that one and then after that, from the Modify Create Shaft Opening Sketch tab, so you can see here you have two options for creating a shaft opening. So you have the boundary line. So these are the tools that you can use to, to create the boundary line or to shape up your boundary. Okay, and then after that, you can also create a symbol for your opening, which is what we are going to do later. Okay, so before we use the, the boundary line tools here, so let's just go first to our properties. Let's look for the base constraints. So currently, it is set to uh, 0, 1 entry level. So I'm going to change this to 0, 2 floor. So I want to start the opening on uh, floor 2 level. Okay, and then I want that to be all the way to the roof. Okay, roof like that okay next after that we are going to now uh, select the tool here so i'm just going to use your rectangular tool the rectangle tool so i'm going to select that one as my boundary tool and then i'm going to zoom in here so i'm going to click here so my first point and then i'm going to pick this as my second point like that all right and then after i create the boundary line by the way if you create your boundary line make sure it is close no intersection and then no overlapping okay so that's how you create your boundary line and i'm going to create a symbol as well aside from the boundary line i'm just going to create an x symbol as my opening symbol so i'm gonna uh, select symbolic line i'll just use the line tool so I'm going to pick here. So I'm going to pick to this corner. There you go. Then I'm going to pick here. And then I'm going to click that one. Modify. This is how it looks like in 3D. So this one in 2D. Okay, so after that, I'm going to select here, finish edit mode. So I click that one. And there you go. So there's the shaft opening. So if I click outside, on my 3d view as you can see it's nothing it didn't create any opening why because if i'm going to hover my pointer here actually i can select the shaft opening which is this one right so i'm going to click that one and then i'm going to investigate so i'm going to zoom in okay so as you can see my shaft opening is not passing through the slab here so that's why what i'm going to do is actually you can just use the I uh, use this shape handle, pull it down so that it will cross the slab like that. And then I'll just click outside and there you go. Okay, or another thing what you can do is you can click the slab and then you can check the property. So that floor is 6 inches thick, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shaft opening and then from the constraint here, 
I'm going to change the base offset. So the base constraint is 0 to floor, but I want that to offset like 6 inches below. So it's, it's going to be a negative 6 inches. Okay, so I'm going to type minus because it's going down. So minus 6 inches. And then I'll select here apply. And there you go. So it's exact. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna select here outside to deselect. So that's now my opening. So any slab that will touch this uh shaft opening will create an opening on that particular slab. So like for example, if I'm just going to quickly copy this floor slab, so I'll just copy that. I'll go to the front view and then I'll just copy uh copy that one. I'll just pick any base point. This is just a rough example. There you go. And then I'll select here, modify, go to the 3D, and there you go. You see? So there's there's still an opening there because it touches the shaft opening like that. Okay. Of course, if I'm going to pull this down like that. All the way down until to the point it's not touching the slab it will not create the opening right so you can play around with your shaft opening you can just simply drag that if you don't want to type in here the exact value just just create an opening and then just drag and drop or I mean you just modify the shape handle okay anyway I'm just going to select this slab so we don't need that and delete I'll select the shaft opening I'll just make this zero, enter, okay? Just like that. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy. I'll go back to my floor plan view, and then I'm going to copy my shaft opening. As you can see, there's the symbol, right? So that at least you know there's a shaft opening there. You just put any symbol. So that the standard symbol for the opening is just an X symbol. So I'm just going to copy this. Just click that copy i'll just make sure it's multiple and then i'm going to pick this as my base point that that one and then i'm just going to place it here and then i'm going to place another one here so it's not snapping at the corner there so i'm going to press the tab once there you go so it's now on the end point and then I'm going to pick to place it. There you go. And then I'll just select here modify and there you go. See? So there's now our opening, opening for our slab. So there you have it. So it's not that difficult to create your shaft opening. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.